All right, so today I wanna to play a game that is super simple, super basic. It's just confessing. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll get into some details on how we wanna make ours a little unique, but first I just wanted to say that like confessing is this basic practice. I even read an article uh, where they were just sort of talking about the power of confessing. And it's been used as a practice for so many years um, and it has a lot of power because it gets you grounded in you and it purges certain things to like clean house and sort of get you grounded and centered but also I think it's sort of a way to like release some shame too or to just like own you because that's the part that I want to be really clear about so we're going to make sure that shame is not a part of our thing. It's not like truth or dare where you're supposed to be really embarrassed to admit that you do such and such. Like we want to own it and claim it without that embarrassed part, you know? Um, and that's how we will start to chase down our confessions. Like what is something that would make you angry if somebody called you it, you know? Like for me, it was like judgment. If people said you're judgmental, that would make me angry or upset or hurt because I was like, oh my God, you misunderstand me. Like that's not what I'm doing, you know? Where do you find the most excuses in your person where you're like, uh-uh, you know, you're just like kind of denying it. Um, and it's obviously a part of yourself that you just don't want to be, um, you know, and, and so part of it could be like, what if I think I'm really not judgy? Like I'm not, I'm not at all. First of all, you know, it's kind of impossible that you don't have at least some little fleck of it in there. Um, but so that's already like a sign that you need to like go there, but also, um, you could try it on for size and see, you know, and just give it a whirl. Do I have a little fleck of judgment? Am I judgy? I might be. Uh, or, yeah, I am. Like, you know, actually, and that's probably why it pisses me off. Um, but you're still giving validation to the times that you have been misunderstood. Like, yeah, okay, but they misunderstood me in that case. Um, but I am judgy and, you know, whatever. Or um, I do have that attribute. Um, but we're just going to confess them. Or take the ones that you already know. I mean, you have to sometimes root these things out and like look in the hot spots that usually make you angry when people say it or that you like find it shameful to be like, oh my God, if somebody is judgmental, that means they're an ass and you know, they're so awful. And all the people that I dislike the most are judgmental or lazy. Being lazy is despicable. It grosses me out. You know, like you look in those places. And find the way that you're lazy. Like if you, if it makes you sick when somebody is lazy, admit, yeah, me too, I'm lazy. Um, and it might be in certain areas and not in others, but like, okay, own it, claim it, whatever. Um, but then there will also be, so aside from the rooting them out, there will also be some that um, you just know, you already know. They're like little guilty, like, oh God, I know, I'm totally... Uh, procrastinator or oh my god I beat the crap out of myself internally and like say so much mean stuff or um, and you know say it and confess it let's bring them out but say it without the judgment say it without I'm gonna say judgment without the shame without the um, that part that makes you feel like you need to be embarrassed without the, you know, that's not okay. Just claim it. It is okay. There's no reason. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. You still love you. Other people still love you. All of us have it. It's totally fine. Make sure that when you're confessing it and say it over and over if you have to, until you get to that place where it's like, and it's totally fine. I mean, you say the words and it's totally fine. Um, because I actually heard this. this. This got double prompted when the other night a mom was with her daughter um, doing aerial dance. Um, I was in instructing. Um, and her daughter was like, oh, I don't want to do it in front of you. You're so judgy. And, you know, I was expecting a defensive reaction from the mom. Um, but the mom like laughed and was like, oh yeah, you're totally right. I get it. I am totally judgy. I'm so judgy, but you love me anyway. 
you know, and that's what she said. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, that was so refreshing and unexpected. And she just like owned that. And it made me realize that judgment or being judgy is something that I don't like to be called. I don't let myself be allowed to admit or own. And it was like liberating just to watch her say like, Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I get it. I know you don't want to do it in front of me. I am judgy. You're right. Um, but you love me anyway. And she just owned it, you know, and it was like, I, <laughs> wow, you're just willing to say like, I'm totally judgmental. Uh, you know, just like, get serious. I'm totally judgmental. I'm very critical or, you know, whatever it is that's like, whoo, I don't know. And, um, see if you can wear it, own it, you know, and feel like, and it's totally fine. Or, you know, I lose my temper and it's totally fine. Uh, or whatever the thing is. Um, because even if it's something that you want to change, uh, you can't really do that without kind of embracing it first. And also, um, sometimes you realize that you don't have to change it. You know, like, do I really have to beat myself up about being judgmental? Um, is it really affecting my life negatively? Or is it just something that's like, yes, I'm a human and I'm judgmental. And it's like, has these other positive things too. It makes me very, like, I've got a good critical eye or, you know, whatever, or that it's just like, and I'm this old and I've done all the growing that I will do and I'm judgmental or, and I can love myself for it and other people do still love me even with it and, you know, I own it. I'm judgmental, um, you know, or something like that where you just really get to that place of like, I mean, that's just liberating. That's called security. You know, I mean, when I saw that woman say that, I was like, wow, it must be amazing to be like that secure in yourself and um, be able to just like claim you and not beat yourself up about it. Or, you know, just in that one area, I'm sure she does beat herself up in other areas because we all do, um, you know, but just like, wow, how secure, how stable that would be feel if I felt it off of her um, just when she said it and you know how much it would free up your energy and how much it would um, kind of make you really sync up with you um, and unburden you and make you just um, like I said so much more free you've got so much more power so much more strength so much more self-confidence um, that you're more changeable even if you it's like you're you're um letting the flip side be true so the whole exists you know you're so much more whole just in admitting and owning up to the things that you usually try to like stuff and how much more energy that would free up and how much more complete that would make you how much more powerful you would be um, you know, it would almost just like shift your being, um, just because of that level of stability, uh, to where you might not need to change that aspect about yourself, or maybe it would change naturally, like letting go of that, you know, I am embarrassed, I'm judgmental, I hate it. I mean, the anger that she probably doesn't feel that I do when other people are like saying the, those things and, you know, just like the liberation that she's bought herself, um, just in confessing and confessing and, um, kind of like not just lightening her load, but healing, you know, healing, real healing, because she's bringing it all to light and she's not um, trying to hide and, you know, becoming whole by bringing both the bad stuff and the good stuff forward and letting them be, just letting them be. Um, so how healing and whole making that is. Um, it was just like, ooh, this is a cool game. Let's do the confession game <laughs> where you just confess all the stuff, you know, all the stuff, all the stuff that comes to you first and then fish, fish for any of the stuff that triggers you and see how it can fit. Because I promise you, even the ones that you're just like, nah, I'm not lazy. Nah, I'm not um, a procrastinator. I'm like, I work myself to the bone. Um, okay, cool. You know, but there's got to be some fleck. There's got to be some fleck of truth. And it's like, all right, well, yeah, okay. There is one area where I'm lazy. I don't 
you, you know, ever make dinner. I always leave that for somebody else. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just saying, you know, have at it. Do some research. Don't stop with just the easy ones. But the easy ones will be fun because they're right at the surface. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. Because, you know, like it just brings more of the good stuff um, to like feel the uh, liberation yourself.